If you want to support the channel, go check out my Patreon. There's rewards like end of video shoutouts and even featuring in a video. More rewards will be added and I'd love to hear from you guys to know what I should add. For more information, go to patreon.com slash macwell. So, we have heard that you're wanting rid of Connor Wickham. Yes? Oh yes, please. Well, I'll offer 5.4 million. Can we possibly do 8.5 million? We can't do that, but what about 6.4 million? Uh, 7.5 million? I see progress. How about 6.7 million? I agree. 7 million. I hope your club gets liquidated. Goodbye. I've been in this club too long. Well, good start to the season, boys. It was here. Delivered into the area here. The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have I'm just done. I'm just done. But we will also watch as this man burst into a star in pretty much a year or two. You could say he's a jewel. <laughs> Oh, just kill me. Jumps, bouncing, busby babes. They deserve to be nice. Moments later, Los Celso whips it in for Aldo Arreld, and it's laid off to Suzoko, and Suzoko scores. Now, when Musa Suzoko can score against your team, you, you kind of deserve to be relegated. But now, Luka Milivojevic to bring it all level. The second half though, Nia Kirby subbed on very late into this match, running away from Dan Gosling, has the chance to score. Of course he would do that. Pain. It consumes you from within. Life is meaningless. Tasteless. All I could ever dream of is escape, but I'm stuck in this dark hole. Hey, Maxwell, maybe you're over-exaggerating. It was only just two bad matches. Yeah, I guess you're right. Guerrero on the edge of the box, crosses it in. Sokka with not the greatest clearance, but it goes to town. Thank you, Townsend. Very cool. Hello, I am from Crystal Palace, and I would like you to join our academy. What makes you better than Juventus? Uh... We have cooler colors. Hey, Wilfred! I'm open! I mean, come on, Adidas. I can understand a lime third kit, but not when the away kit is white. Who brings it to Ki Sung Young, who tries to find Muto, but Sako passes it basically right back to the attackers. <sighs> Thank you, Mamadou. Very cool. For Guaita to start up a counter attack, he's trying to scout someone out. To Sadio Mane, I can't even complain about that. Mane crosses it in for Jules Kunde, who puts it in his own net. But there's a little more to the story. And here's my reaction. What? But like all great things, and I mean all great things, I find a way to just tamper with them. Mamadou, I cannot standeth thee any longer, sir. Thou art a fucking broken pipe yond leaked skulls on a daily basis, and it drives me to pure insanity to the point where I hasn't not spoken to anyone due to the sole isolation I have putteth myself into. Thou art the epitome of all mine own conceit, and thee wilt never starteth for me again. Thomas Party and Thomas Party off his debut could actually score for Crystal Palace here. 
Nope. Some very early chances, which is an improvement here, but Max Meyer puts it into the bottom corner and makes it 1-0. I'm telling you guys, this is the kickstart to a brilliant campaign. I can just feel it. It's fine. It's only one goal. For f**k's sake. F**k this game. Alright, that's that's all I'm gonna say. That's just all I'm going to say, okay? Because my god, this is the epitome of everything that you hate about FIFA. In this match. Just only this match. Play the clips. 10 minutes into the match, instead of Crystal Palace with the early chance, actually, psych, it is for Crystal Palace. It's a counter-attack here. Orsolini sees Zaha all by himself. Zaha running right past Laporte, and everyone else who's trying to get to him takes this shot, and it's saved by Ederson. Fair enough, it's a one-on-one, -on -one and it's Ederson, okay? You know, we can, we can accept the fact that we might not score on that opportunity. We could have, but it didn't happen. But no, we, we weren't done there just yet. Brahim now on the ball, running down the wing. He's trying to see if there's anyone in the box. It's Milivojevic all by himself, volleys it well wide of the goal. And then a little after that, Manchester City, with the time basically expiring, but not, scores. Thank you, game. I really needed that. 50 minutes played, another chance for Crystal Palace. And when I say we had a ton of chances, I really mean this. Ayu on the ball takes the shot, and he misses! How do you miss that? I don't know! Tomas Party to Milivojevic, through ball to Jordan Ayu, and I sh** you not, Jordan Ayu has four goals in the first half of a Premier League match. I- I don't know what's going on. The real question though, is Jordan Ayu a top striker? When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Wait. Hold on. Detroit Eagles? Like, Detroit, Michigan? With further research, I found out, yes, actually Detroit. For some weird reason, there is actually a Crystal Palace Supporters Club in Detroit, Michigan. And before I decided to make a complete meme out of it, because, well, it's f***ing Detroit, I found out that the Detroit Eagles hang out at this Detroit City Clubhouse, which is basically a bar with an indoor pitch. Detroit, you rarely take W's, but I'll give this one to you. Ah, December. How much I absolutely hate you. 24 minutes played, a clearance that goes way outside into our own half. It's an awkward bounce, so Timo Werner gets onto it. Get the hell out of my face. Thank you, Mamadou. Very cool. Daniele Giordano. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Last of the easy matches, it's Burnley. And the keeper's got to it, went the right way. It's transfer time. The midfield is the child. Tomas and Luca are like the blanket that covers the child. The child is safe under the blanket, and no one can penetrate through that blanket. Exquisite finishing just through the simple grace of his right foot. He probably listens to lo-fi hip-hop radio, beats to relax and study to. Gentlemen, it is time to create the schedule for the upcoming season. But before we do, I assume we can all agree on something. We absolutely hate Crystal Palace, correct? Indeed. I personally think we should give them hell. Indeed. What kind of hell? I think we should kill Jordan Ayu. Indeed. Indeed. Hold on. Isn't that illegal? I suppose so. How about we make them face Liverpool in the opening game of the season? Yeah, you know what? Fuck the Eagles. And Milivojevic to bury this one. 11 minutes played, it's Vinagre to Milivojevic who takes the shot. Now fellas, let's be serious for a second. What's the greatest thing that has happened to you in your life so far? Have you thought about it? Well, it doesn't matter. Because we 
are in the Champions League. So, welcome to the first ever Champions League match at Selhurst, and it's against CSK Moscow. It's time to prove to Europe. <laughs> oh, no. One word describes this match, but I feel this word is a bit overused by me, so hold on a second. Ah, eradication it is. I'm in trouble. Six minutes played now, it's in Domblay on the ball. Get the hell out of my face! Last kick of the match for Spurs here. It's the only chance to possibly find the winner here. It's Get the hell out! Imagine being owned by practically the entire country of Qatar and you still can't even reach the semi-finals. I may have spoke too soon. He inches towards the edge of the box, cuts inside, passes it. Twenty-three minutes played. Once again, it's Palace. It's Orsolini passing it to Tomas Partey. Partey sees the run by Iñaki Williams. It's only the keeper to beat, and Rui saves it once again. Hey Rui, f off. I felt we needed that one blockbuster signing that every successful club makes. And before some of you say, "But Maxwell, this is unrealistic," I thought you wanted to be realistic. Shut the f*** up. It's season 4. <laughs> Ricardo Orsolini, you know, our starting center attacking midfielder. Well, he once was actually signed for Juventus. Although, he was always loaned out and never actually played for them. By the way, Ricardo, I really do not rate that turtleneck. I really hope you're not doing that in South London. Should stop saying that. But Brahim then cuts inside, decides to leave it for Inyaki Williams, who then gets fouled in the box. I, um, I'm just going to refer to this comment. Now, Club Bruges. Club Bruges? Fine, we'll actually figure this out. Brugge. What? Brugge. Brugge? It's Brugge? Brugge. Hold on, hold on. Ah, jeez. <laughs> now Chelsea with just one final attack. It's Kovacic to Timo Werner. And Werner is going to pass it back to Kovacic. And Kovacic, can he do anything with... K Kovacic, no! Orsolini leading this attack. He has a ton of room to pass it to. And Yaki Williams, who takes the shot. It's going to be a free kick here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that 100k views special. I mean, it's still pretty insane just thinking about it, man. Like, I've reached 100,000 views in less than a year. I mean, it just almost feels like yesterday I was struggling to get even 10 views on a video, and this is just incredible. So I can't thank you guys enough. Obviously, you know, there's going to probably be another thank you message at the end of another series, the Venezia series, but... I have to say my huge thanks for just 100,000 views. I mean, it's just such an incredible number to reach in less than a year, man. Uh, but thank you guys so much for all the support. Honestly, it's because of you guys and just these videos that I pump out and all the support I'm getting that makes quarantine just that bit better for me. Obviously, I really haven't mentioned anything about quarantine, so... You know, I hope you guys are also doing just fine. Hope you guys are staying safe. And, you know, maybe things are opening up over there. I don't know. But stay safe. Saturday, though, will be the Venezia Season 5 premiere live premiere. So don't forget about that. And once again, thank you guys so much. Be sure to follow my Twitter, at Macwell, just for updates on videos. And also, if you just want to interact with me. But once again, thank you for 100k views in less than a year. And boys, we're not even that far away from 1.5k subs. And hell... 2,000 subs doesn't even look that far either. But that's me signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next Venezia episode.